Warm greetings to everyone tuning in. Today we're tackling an incredibly important topic, depression. So what is depression really? It's not just feeling sad or down. It's a serious mental health condition characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness and a lack of interest or pleasure in activities. Some other common symptoms include changes in appetite or weight, difficulty sleeping or feeling tired all the time. Now it's important to understand that feeling sad from time to time is a normal part of life. But when these feelings persist for weeks or months, and they interfere with work, school or relationships, it might be clinical depression. Let's consider John, a high-achieving student who suddenly finds himself unable to concentrate, losing interest in activities he once enjoyed, and constantly battling fatigue. This isn't just a rough patch, this is depression. Depression is real, and it's more common than many of us realize. Depression isn't just a phase, it can be caused by a variety of factors. Just like a jigsaw puzzle, depression is a complex picture that's often pieced together by multiple elements. First, there are genetic factors. If someone in your family has suffered from depression, your own risk may be higher. Then we have environmental factors. This includes things like prolonged stress at work or home, traumatic life events, or even seasonal changes. Situational factors also play a part. Experiencing a major life change like a job loss, divorce, or death of a loved one can trigger depression. Lastly, certain medical conditions and medications can also increase the risk of depression. But remember, depression isn't a sign of weakness or something you can just snap out of. If you suspect you're dealing with depression, it's important to seek help from a professional. They can provide a proper diagnosis and guide you towards the right treatment. Depression is a complex condition, but help is available. Overcoming depression isn't about snapping out of it, but about finding effective coping strategies. Let's tackle a few that have proven to be successful for many. Therapy is a powerful tool, providing a safe space to explore feelings, thoughts, and behaviors under the guidance of a professional. Medication, too, can play a crucial role in managing depression, often in conjunction with therapy. The importance of a strong support system cannot be overstated. Friends, family, or support groups can provide a listening ear, encouragement, and a sense of belonging. Mindfulness and meditation can help in managing stress and anxiety while regular exercise and a balanced diet can significantly improve your mood and energy levels. Establishing healthy routines, such as adequate sleep, regular meals, and time for relaxation, can bring structure and predictability, which can be comforting during turbulent times. These strategies have helped many people and they could help you too. Remember, there's always a brighter future ahead. In addition to professional help, self-care plays a crucial role in managing depression. It's about embracing actions that nurture your well-being and aid recovery. One such activity is journaling, a simple yet powerful tool. It allows you to express your thoughts and feelings, providing a safe space to vent and reflect. Another self-care strategy is finding hobbies and interests that bring you joy. Whether it's painting, hiking, or playing an instrument, these activities can offer an escape from negative thoughts and inject positivity into your routine. Setting achievable goals is also essential. They provide a sense of purpose and direction, and each accomplishment, no matter how small, can boost your self-esteem and motivation. Lastly, practice self-compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Understand that it's okay to have off days and it's okay not to be okay sometimes. Recognize your struggles without judgment and treat yourself with the same kindness you would extend to others. Remember, self-care isn't selfish. It's necessary. While self-care is important, professional guidance is often key to overcoming depression. Mental health professionals such as therapists, psychiatrists, and counselors bring expertise and objectivity to your journey. They can introduce you to a variety of therapeutic approaches, including cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectical behavior therapy, among others. Moreover, there are numerous hotlines and crisis resources available for immediate assistance. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all in battling depression. You don't have to face this alone. Help is available. Depression can feel isolating, but remember, many have walked this path before you. Stories abound of people who've experienced the depths of depression and emerged stronger. They've found their way to the surface, into the light, and so can you. It's not an easy journey, but it's one filled with self-discovery and resilience. So take heart. Hold on to the belief that brighter days are ahead. You are stronger than you think, and you have the power to overcome. You are not alone. Recovery is possible.